Hi, how are you? Yeah, so I know this is the first time I've ever done one of these videos, so... This is... strange. Well, the reason why I'm doing a plush collection video today is because, well, one, it's kind of like a tradition thing for plush tubers, and two, it gets a lot of views for other people, so I'm doing it! But so yeah, um, in this video I'm gonna be showing you my entire plush collection. At least the ones that are in my possession right now. There are some plushies that are missing. Like, I'm gonna show pictures of them on screen when I have to mention them. I'm not sure where they are right now. Well, at least one of them, I'm not sure where they are. Some of the other ones, they're just like not in my possession or some other reasons like that. But yeah, so without further ado, let's begin. Also, there's something I'm gonna say to now. I'm going by like, well, I'll just say what I'm going by when I'm doing it. But yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be go by wave or anything. It's likely just gonna like go by game. Also, there are some non-FNAF plushies in this collection. It's because I... Listen, I just need more plushies so that way the title makes it more clickable. So I'm actually going to do this a little interesting. I'm actually going to start with the non-FNAF plushies as to get them out of the way, you know? Alright. Anyways, let's begin. So the first plushie in the collection I'm going to put down is... Spongebob. Yes, I said Spongebob first. What are you gonna do about it? Uh, okay, maybe you can click off, but please don't click off. I need the watch time. Then there is Patrick, Mickey Mouse, Iron Man, Black Panther, Jason Voorhees, Trollface or Trollge, whatever you wanna call him or what I like to call him. Larry, this penguin, this, I forgot what this thing is called, and the biggest plushie in my collection as of right now, Optimus Prime, got this boy at Universal Studios, along with Spongebob and Iron Man. I'm forgetting a plushie, hold on. Um, I may or may not have forgotten two plushies. Anyways, Thanos and Groot. I'm gonna put him in the back somewhere. All right, I think that looks, it looks a little cluttered, but it's gonna have to do. So there are the non-FNAF plushies. Now let's move into the FNAF plushies. Ooh, damn, excuse me. All right. Okay, I had to, there's like not enough room to really keep going up there, so I'm moving to the bed. Cool? Okay. First I gotta get this damn pillow on the way. Okay, now for the FNAF stuff. We have Freddy, stay on the bed, boy. Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, he's a good stuff plushie if you're wondering. Also, he did have like, he was kind of chewed up a little bit though, that's why his mouth, no mouth, like eye, nose, look kind of weird, so yeah. And then there's Golden Freddy. I am never getting an official one. Those are way too expensive, so I'm just gonna have to stick with the custom for now. Okay. Okay, moving on to FNAF 2. 2. Okay, moving on to FNAF 2. Um, I only have, like, four characters, technically, from this game, so let's just go. Alright, first up is the puppet, who is actually the last custom I've made. This is my most recent one. Technically, I this custom was made in 2023 and 2024 because I finished, like, I, like, put it all together, in, like, on New Year's Eve. However, I didn't end up giving it the finishing touches until New Year's Day. So, technically, it's kind of a 2023 and 2024 custom. Alright, I'm not wasting time. 
All right, next up is Withered Bonnie, Shadow Freddy. I said it with Golden Freddy, and I'll say it for him too. I am never getting an official Shadow Freddy. Just look at the price oh, they charge those God. things for. God. And then we have Shadow. Oh my God, he almost fell. Um. I probably should have had this flashlight on, like, for the whole video, but, oh well. Um, next up for FNAF 3, we have my custom spring trap, tie-dye spring trap, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, FNAF 4, we have Nightmare Freddy. Nightmare Bonnie. And there's his head. Nightmare Chica. Big old Nightmare on. In fact, I'm gonna need to squish her in the back too. Hold on. Okay, I think that's good. Oh my god, I killed Nightmare Bonnie. Nightmare Fribber. And I. I kind of. Have, I actually have a nightmare custom. You see it on screen. I have no clue where that went. Like genuinely, like zero clue. I have, I do not know where that thing is. So imagine him there. Well, don't because I'm about to put someone there. But yeah, he he's in my collection. I just do not know where he is. Also on the set on the other side, I actually have. This is the, the second time I've made a Shadow Freddy plush. The first time is this one that you can see on screen. Um, I ended up giving that. Oh, I ended up giving that one to someone else. So, yeah. Um, anyways, next up for FNAF Five Sister Location, we have Circus Baby. Fun time Freddy, Fun time Foxy, Ballora, and Lulbit. And for FNAF 6, I I just have Helpy. He's the only FNAF 6 plushie I have as of the moment, so yeah. For Help Wanted, um, I have two. I have Dreadbiter. And I know this plushie is technically FNAF 4, but I forgot about him, so here's Jacko Bunny. I forgot about Enter! Okay, I made room. Here's Enter. He's literally one of the first plushies I got. How did I forget about him, bro? Okay, we are almost done with the plush collection, so I just have, like... Five more plushies to go, and next up is FNAF AR Special Delivery. I have two. And those plushies are Radioactive Foxy and Liberty Chica. And the final few characters I have are kind of custom characters, pretty much. Yeah. Alright, let's finish this. First one we have is this this fella. So, if you're wondering what this thing is, it's basically, it's the earliest custom in the collection. This one actually belongs to Smitty G, like I said. She's, uh, her channel link will be in the description below. So, yeah. Um, this is the earliest one I own. Um, I had, used to have one, but it ended, I had, like, there was another one that made, got made on the same day, but that one got chewed up by my dogs, so, you're not gonna see that one in the collection. Yeah. Then we got, um, what I, what I would call, what do you call, I'd, I'd call this Dark Trap, I know there is, like, a Dark Trap already, but I do not care. This is, like, basically the, like, if you're wondering what this thing is, essentially it's kind of like the physical representation of 
at the evil part of Afton's conscious. That helps make sense for my series. Please, please, just so you know, I have my series linked in the description below. So if you want to go watch it, please go ahead because I it, there's not very many people have watched it. Like no video has over a thousand views. So yeah, please go watch it. Um, anyways, um, and the final plushie is just my mascot. So yeah, um, this is my plush collection, and over there, that's all of my non-FNAF stuff. So yeah, um, that's everything, but just, um, I have a little more stuff planned for this video, so... Yeah, there, here is the, um, announcement segment. So, yeah, um, it's 2024 now. Man, it really came here fast. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm gonna just put this here, because I don't feel like really holding plushy. Um, so, yeah, um, the first thing I want to do for, like, this channel announcement segment is to just kind of talk about how 2023 was for me. So, yeah, let's get into that. I'm gonna say it now. 2023 was by far the best year on my channel. So much stuff happened. I mean, I got... I. I was able to start entering collabs. That was like a totally new experience for me, and I am very glad I'm doing that. I'm still going to do that into 2024, by the way. Like, not a lot's going to change, but yeah. Another thing I just had to mention is we hit 1,000 subscribers last year. That was amazing. Seriously, I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Like, I'm going to be honest. When I started my channel, I didn't really have, like, my goal wasn't really to, like, my goal was just to reach 1,000. Like, all I knew is once I reached 1,000, then I was doing good. And now I'm actually at 1,000. In fact, I'm, I think I'm at, like, 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2k right now. So, yeah. Um, so, all that stuff happened, and... Yeah, so, like I said, I just, not thank you enough for that. Another thing I guess I can mention here is how we, um, wrapped up season one, started season two, and wrapped up season two in the same year. That's the most plush content stuff I've done in Ohio, considering the fact that, the, that in 2021, I would say, was the worst year of my channel by far because I just didn't upload at all. Like, I did not care about YouTube, really, at that time, so I would say that was probably the worst year for my channel. But, yeah. So, um, anyways, that's it for all the 2023 talk. Let's talk 2024. What are my plans? And I'll... Wait a minute, I'm for getting something there's a plushie missing clown freddy but yeah so 2024 um the first thing i have planned is i'm going to wrap up season zero which i started uh, a few days ago um season zero is probably gonna have like the most base episodes of the season so far maybe that's that's what's planned that might not be what ends up happening but yeah um also um i'm gonna start season three also because yeah season three i'm just letting y'all know season three is gonna be a really really good season i mean so far season zero has also been a pretty good season but i guarantee you season three is going to be just if not better than season zero so yeah um i'm just letting you all know that that 
Season 3 is going to be really good. It's going to start around, I'd say, spring, summer 2024. And, yeah. It's going to be lit. I promise you that. Another thing I guess I can also say is... I have plans that I'm going to start a really big like mega collab i mean kind of like the one leo actually did recently i'm gonna link that one in the description too here's the picture of the thumbnail so yeah um i'm gonna probably do a big one i'm probably gonna do a poll as to what song should be used in it and or i don't know maybe we'll we'll see um but yeah um so, uh, probably not. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably not. I'm sorry. There probably won't be a poll. But yeah, um, there's. it's going to happen for this reason because FNAF 10-year anniversary is actually approaching in um, August. So, yeah, FNAF is going to be 10 years old. FNAF is going to be 10 years old. Um... Do I have anything else to say? Uh, I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to say thank you guys so much for an amazing 2023. I am really excited for 2024. And I am i can't wait for what this year is going to have in store. Um, also, I'm going to have a trailer, like a channel trailer for 2024. That's going to drop sometime soon. Maybe the next, like, day or two, so expect that. Um, anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.